Hello and welcome to Curious Thought, and today we're going to be answering what causes Aurora Borealis, and why is it fading? Before we can understand why it's fading, we need to understand why this colorful gradient occurs. The Northern Lights, otherwise known as Aurora Borealis, forms in a complicated process that all starts at the sun. On the outside layer of the sun, the corona, temperatures reach up to 2 million degrees Fahrenheit, or 1.1 million degrees Celsius. This heat excites ions and electrons in the corona, making them zip around super fast. So fast that they can escape the massive gravitational pull of the sun, sending them hurtling outwards, sometimes toward Earth. And sometimes, the sun experiences massive explosions called coronal mass ejections, which eject a ton of these particles. The particles make up what is known as solar wind, and we do not like solar wind because the particles are super hot and contain deadly radiation that would basically kill us. Thankfully, 93 million miles away, Earth has a defense, and it's all because we live on a gigantic magnet. The magnetic field of the Earth is called the magnetosphere. When the ions and electrons in solar wind hit the magnetosphere, they mostly just get deflected off. With so many of these particles hitting it, the magnetosphere gets compressed on the side facing the sun. But some particles, or in the case of a coronal mass ejection, a lot of particles, don't bounce off, and instead interact with the magnetic field lines, running along the side until they reach the Earth's poles. Obviously, we don't want solar wind breaking through the magnetosphere at the poles because it would kill us. So what stops it? Earth's secondary defense is the upper atmosphere. When the electrons and ions zoom in, they collide with oxygen and nitrogen molecules, transferring energy to them. The newly energized molecules then release photons, lighting up. When lone particles, or small groups of them, transfer their energy, not that much light is created. But when a large number, like from a coronal mass ejection, transfers all their energy, a bunch of light is created, enough to cause the dazzling spectacle we know as Aurora Borealis. Oxygen gives off the green and yellow colors we see, while nitrogen gives off red, violet, and sometimes blue colors in the sky. And while all that's really amazing, there's a problem. The aurora is gradually fading, and it's coming less and less frequently. And we're only in the beginning stages. Why is this happening? As we know, coronal mass ejections cause the northern lights. These huge explosions occur more when the sun is more active and less when the sun is less active. Sun activity falls an 11 year cycle called the solar cycle. As you can see in the graph, sun activity comes and goes in a wave. We are right past the peak of the wave called the solar maximum, which occurred in 2014. And we're starting the downwards journey, which hits the bottom called the solar minimum in 2020. Less sun activity means smaller coronal mass ejections and less of them as well. Smaller ejections means less energy is being transferred to oxygen and nitrogen in our atmosphere, leading to less vibrant, more faded auroras. And having less ejections in the first place means less auroras are appearing. And that's why the northern lights are fading away. Thank you for watching this video of Curious Thought. Subscribe for weekly animated science videos just like this one. See you next week.